Hey guys, I'm Silly, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie Hoax. So, this movie follows, well, at the very, very beginning, we see uh, a few people going hiking and being taken out by a mysterious figure. So, we cut to some time later where news reports are coming in and a lot of suspicion about what's going on out there uh, gets all riled up. And among those people are one of the characters that was left behind being killed and it's their dad looking for them but we don't know according to the other people there that that she's quite dead yet again um so i guess early spoilers but it did show it at the very beginning so i can't really avoid that i suppose Nonetheless, we join a film director who essentially wants to get a crew together to find out how to uh, get this little uh, thing going about Bigfoot. Uh, this is the suspicion, so he grabs a crew of individuals, including one doctor. Uh, I think her name was like Fitcher or something. Um, so she joins them. Uh, she's our primarily lead, primary lead character throughout the movie. Uh, he also grabs a few other individuals, such as an actress to uh, do the news report, a cameraman, the father figure, uh, some uh, Bigfoot expert, and a bodyguard. I believe was the entire team. So they head over into where these other char these other people. Uh, were killed, they look around and start shooting some material for this little project that this filmmaker guy is on about. So they start to set up little traps and things aren't looking so hot as we get through some pretty obvious cliches of, oh, we have to split up these characters to get them to go off one at a time, to split up to do the obvious things, and at these intervals they are set out so far enough where the Bigfoot could potentially strike and kill them. And that's exactly what happens. So the first guy to go disappearing is, I believe, the Sasquatch or Bigfoot, whatever you want to refer to him as, expert, uh, going out because uh, some of the gear was like broken or something or not working quite right yet so he went out to go look for it he was killed off pretty quickly uh, others started to look for him and then uh, the um, at some point I forget when this happens the uh, the film actress uh, gets like hurt or something uh, so, they have, uh, because they're out in the woods at this point, so she gets, like, taken down or whatever. Uh, so they manage to get her out of the situation. They manage to get her back to the, all the way back to the camp. Meanwhile, they have one of the guys go to, like, the where the helicopter was. Turns out, uh, the Bigfoot was, like, whatever, smart enough to, like, know this location. Take this dog out and this guy out as well before they can even reach the helicopter and apparently I guess no one else there knows how to fly probably should have bought at least one backup person who could fly probably would have been a really smart idea but whatever um so he goes this guy goes back to like warn everyone else of what he saw he sees the Bigfoot he, he crashes his vehicle and for the moment he is okay He's a bit scruffed up, but okay. So he returns, and after all the incidents that have happened, um, they find out that the the Bigfoots, or plural, I guess, are moving closer and closer to their encampment, are messing with them, uh, they're messing, they're toying with this uh, the injured uh, actor girl, actress woman. Um, and they're trying, you know, they're getting more and more upset with this guy who's, like, so obsessed with catching them on footage for his little show. Not really caring about, like, why he brought everyone else on, including the father figure, you know, roping him into this whole situation. 
So, uh, the guard guards up with his gun. They go out uh, hunting, the three of them, uh, this guard guy, the father figure, and the camera guy all go out to go look for the Bigfoot. Uh, meanwhile, I believe they leave the doctor there to tend to the girl for the time being. So the guard uh, pursues uh, the, these tracks and they do this uh, alien reference where they have the tracker and it's beeping faster and faster. They get it, they're getting closer and closer. Uh, he goes on way too far ahead of the other two. Uh, the other guy is like in the middle of crossing this bridge while the guard gets taken out by Bigfoot via death. Uh, this causes the other guy to like lose his gun, the father figure, and so the two of them have to get out of there. So they start to flee back to the camp. Uh, they tell the others that they need to really uh, get a move on. Uh, I believe at this point, um, you know, this whole conspiracy thing is really getting out of hand. So uh, they're trying to really get out of there. The, the stuff has been messed with from the uh, the guy who was like trying to film. He brings out a gun. He like kills two of the other people. The father or shoots him like down. Uh, he kills one of the other people, the actress, I believe, um, and then like fucks off for a bit while um, the doctor recuperates uh, the, the father figure and the camera guy who is like sort of like holding up his position. So the three of them go off in a separate direction trying to get out of there. They see some sort of encampment that has been that has may have potential answers, uh, but the camera guy gets caught in a bear trap. So they have, um, they try to help him out, but it doesn't really help, uh, because none of them know how to work a bear trap. Uh, I would think that if you have, I don't know if you, I don't know if military or all that experience would translate f to, like, being able to figure that sort of thing out, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, she goes on ahead to uh, this camp and finds out, uh, after getting knocked out, that um, these people have been, uh, these three or two people have been uh, dressing up as a Bigfoot and have been taking people down uh, that have come across them. They're a little bit uh, crazy loco. They capture the other two, bring them in, they kill the camera guy. Uh, and they eventually kill um, the father figure after like him like finding out that they were the ones that killed the daughter in the beginning. So uh, bad news all around. The uh, eventually um, the cam uh, sorry the um, the doctor uh, lady uh, makes her way out. She uh, beats down this woman that's like taking care of these two and like gets one of the other guys takes him down. The third one was like not with them. He, she finds a vehicle vehicle that works. She drives off um, and then the mother or sorry the other person or I think it's the mother like she wasn't done yet like she didn't finish the mother off or whatever and then she like like jump scares her into jump cut to what was going on with um, the director guy. Uh, so the director guy is off on his own, he's trying to flee, he see, he turns, he sees an image that looks quite like Bigfoot, and we see a strike, and then the movie ends. And that was the movie Hoax. So there are a bit of cliches, obviously, here. There were, like, one or two moments of, like, scenes of characters connecting, and I think they were trying on those scenes, but other than that, pretty run-of-the-mill, cliched, uh, movie. Um, I do think of, you know, trying to do the whole, like, oh, actually it was, like, these people, but then there's actually a really big Bigfoot out there or whatever. Uh, it does, like, try to, that also unfortunately does the unfortunate part of, like, setting up, like, oh, was there gonna be more? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Um, I do think that some of these clays should have could have easily been avoided. Um, 
just having the Bigfoot be more smarter since it is operated by these two people that we later learn on. I think there's some merit to finding a way around that without doing more way more obvious like, oh, we gotta split up at this point. Um, you know, there's always those opportunities, and if you have to do them again, I think just doing those better character development parts, just honing in on those, making sure your characters are really set in stone. So at least we're, uh, at the very minimum, if they are doing kind of the stupid cliches, at least we're sort of caring about them instead of going, eh, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 10. I think it could have used a little bit more buffing around the edges in this department, but it wasn't all that bad. There were some, again, one or two moments here and there that uh, had some character development, particularly for the father character there, uh, as he had th these talks in the movie. So that was my review for Hoax, and if you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, bye bye